Hi guys, Ashantin here. How are you? As you can see, I'm on here with JK. I'm just recording because I have gifts. <laughs> He's responding. Right, let's go and have a look. Now, before I do, let me... I need... I've been doing a lot of mining and I need to go and mend my stuff. But before I do so... Cake from door. <laughs> A gift from Encom and that says thanks isn't that really nice I mean 10 diamonds when you've just started on the server thank you so much that's really really nice of you excellent has Ricky taken his stuff he has I am going to leave a sign in there in case anybody wants it right let me stash these diamonds and I needed them I'm down to my last nine which is ridiculous but there you go okay and then down here I believe let me just pop this away in my wood chest okay take the bones with me why not I think I have a present in my post box in spawn because Ben I said he had left me something Nice getting post, isn't it? Right, so let's go and have a look. Uh, Ashanton. Oh, crikey, thank you for the blue orchids. My goodness, oh, a set of wings. Benai, my goodness. Oh, fantastic. A very early Christmas present. Wow. That is unbelievably generous. Wow, I'm going to have to learn to fly. Oh, that should be interesting. I've never flown before in my life. My goodness, I don't even know how to do it. I'm going to have to watch videos on how to fly now. Wow, Benai, that is a handsome gift. That is a handsome gift and shulker boxes. Wonderful. I love them. Gosh, how much time have you spent in the nether? I hope you haven't given me your only set, but that was a wonderful gift. Thank you so much. Gosh, Encom and Benai, you, you guys are so generous. This needs to go in here. Wow. Now, uh, where do I keep quartz? Downstairs. And I'm going to have to build a new um, shelf for my shulker boxes and decide what colours to have them. Gosh, how fantastic. So I do have something for quartz. Here we are. Excellent. Thank you so much. That is incredibly useful. Bones. Thank you. Coal. Coal. I have a coal chest. Thank you again. Wow, that's a lot of coal. Shulker box is wonderful. And look at this, guys. Blue orchids. Wow. What on earth gave you the idea? I love blue orchids. <laughs> Let's just stash them up here till I decide where to put them. Because these are pretty special. Wow, fantastic. Okay, shulker boxes, what colour do we have? And what sort of shelf do I have down here? Ah, I'd have to put a shelf up there and they'd have to go where the lights are. Hmm, what dyes have I got? The dyes are upstairs, of course. Come downstairs, the dyes are upstairs. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pop them in with the dyes. Oh, I have quite a lot. Now I've got to run up and downstairs working out what I've got and what I haven't. I'm going to come back and dye those. Wow, thank you guys. But I wanted to show you guys something I've been working on and may do a bit more work on today. And that is that... A 
down in my mine um, where I you know sort of set up Nick and I are very very close together in terms of our builds because he picked a mountain top very close to me and we inevitably mined into each other and we agreed that we would link our bases together but nobody else seems to understand that this is part of our bases and I've had all sorts of sort of people strolling through so what I've done is I've put a banner up there then everyone knows that's my house up there have I got hmm I haven't I'm still working on the uh, I need another staircase up there uh, steps I'm still working on this but basically I have turned this into a colonnade so that it is obvious that this belongs to somebody and I put my banner up here even though Nick and I share this bit uh, just in case anyone tunnels through and wonders whose this is it is Nick and mine and I've put a st the staircase down to Nick um, I have left but what I've done here down here is I've put colonnades along his room and it should be that you can then see up into yeah so that you can see that there is somewhere up there now I'm not sure and I think Nick is going to have to take this back because this bit and I've put a, a, a wall around it this is the bit that I think spawns slimes he had a carrot farm here so I think he's going to have to expand this way I think it's that chunk that's spawning I've outlined the chunk and I think it's that chunk if it's this chunk that is spawning stuff we have a slightly different problem so all that is for to help Nick especially that bit up there so that when you come and I've left him a chest to help him because I think he's going to come on again soon he's not been on for some time doing exams so when you come up here you can in effect just come over into here and then you've got our joint area but as I said these are Nick's sort of furnaces here I'm putting chests all along here because it's a pretty convenient place to store things and then I put see there are people this a lot of this is my mining but in some cases it's not I've got other sort of uh, people have come in from God knows where and that these are all my mines along here but again um, looking at this end I found that there is another uh, tunnel going out whoops not there I think it's through here I came across another tunnel that was coming across here laterally so I thought I'd better sort of mark my territory a bit and then people know not to mine or take stuff out of this colonnade area so the colonnades I think are looking quite good I've taken and I am taking the walls back a bit here I'm contemplating taking them out a bit more this is my obsidian farm here um, and I have a lava lake of course further up that I haven't touched so that I can use it for fuel there's the gate I need gates down here but I rather like the look of that and I do like the idea of being able to over ah no did you see that it's not that chunk that's spawning them hi Benai whoops whoops here we are thanks for the incredible gift right so I think I have isolated the wrong chunk oh did he come out of here oh that is the chunk and he's coming towards me so I think that little one must have escaped so I think yeah I need to put obviously a fence along there 
let's just put a fence along there because those little ones I think have got out of the gap so maybe having seen that one spawn hello I think it's this chunk that is actually the spawn chunk yeah I know I don't think that slimes grow I don't think they grow but I think this all needs amending um, to allow for the fact that this is now a slime chunk. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on that because whenever I'm down here, the slimes do sort of multiply. I'm going to do some work on these stairs for Nick, I think. I haven't decided yet. This is Nick's pad. I have to be a bit careful. Uh, he's got all sorts of things here. Uh, but this goes all the way up to his castle I think. Wow. Of course he's a long way up. Yeah this is his pad up here. And then he's not really got that far up here yet. And I'm thinking about the window over here. If this is where his window is. He's got some coal there. It's just a dead end. I tell you what, Nick's builds are always intensely confusing when he starts them out. But I think he's going to hollow this whole mountainside out, which is going to be quite a task. And if that's ground level, yeah, I think then the window he's put in must be up here. There we go, let's have a look. That's, oh, ow. It's just a platform to nowhere, unless he's marking a floor there. Gosh, confusing or what? Wonderful view from up here. Wonderful view. Yeah, he got this far. That's JK over there, I think. Is that JK? What's that bouncing up and down over there? They're sheep! And a cow. Good heavens. Okay guys, it's amazing what you find on this server, isn't it? Well, I must admit, I uh, have my, had my breath completely taken away with the gifts from Encom and Benai. Good Lord. And these farms are these. Huh. <laughs> Is there any sort of sign to say whose farms these are? Nope. Guys, signs before I raid your farms. Oh, oh, we have a new build. Good heavens. I bet this is Ricky. Are the nether blocks? Stones and dirt. Ores, goodies, tools, armor. This looks like Ricky. Well, now I know who's built here. Yep, this looks so much like Ricky. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> no diamond is safe, guys. No diamond is safe. So he's built himself. Obviously these farms are his. Ah. I think that must be Ricky arriving. Unless it's JK, it's not JK. That's Ricky. <laughs> okay. Right. AFK at the fish farm. I don't even know where that is. Where is the fish farm? Now I know that there's a bill. Oh! 
rusty buckets, I knew Dog would put a mem um a grave. So OP Ricky has appeared. <laughs> I was on with him the other day. Quite fantastic. He sort of appeared. Um I gave him some gear to kick off with. Five minutes later, he found a double seam of diamonds. Oh my goodness, that boy. And then once he'd found the double seam of diamonds, fell into lava and lost the... Oh, look at this! We have a Christmas tree. Wow! Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Someone's built a Christmas tree. Was it Bella or was it Ricky? Ricky likes building Christmas trees. You know, glowstone nether wart blocks and iron. That is a seriously classy Christmas tree. Doesn't that look nice? I love it. I don't know who built it, but I love it. Let's go up here and have another look. Oh, it fits perfectly. And now my house looks a bit better, doesn't it? It does look Christmassy. Isn't that lovely? Goodness. And then I was going to go out here to the back because I found a build. Um, can I get out this way? I think I can through here. We'll have to go through this beautiful tower. This is completely open to all sorts of mobs. But over here, there is a build. And I have a feeling that this may be a fishing shack or a fishing farm. I don't know who this belongs to. Okay. That's nice. Can anything get through there? I don't think it can. That's very nice. All right. What's up here? A bed. Always useful. Well, there's plenty of boats. Oh, there's a doorway in here. Doorway to nowhere. Um, what am I on? What am I on? Going to head out. Get back about an hour and a half if you're still here. Okay. Right, they've all joined and left. We get through this doorway. What's that getting up onto that? Okay, so we have a door to nowhere. We have a tree. That is the fishing shack. And you can fish from up here, I suspect. Plamesons is over there. But I have no idea who is building this. It's a double ravine with your name on it. I'm in. <laughs> All right about an hour and a half okay it's half past one here that'd be about three o'clock all right goodness well i have no idea what this is it looks like some sort of fishing installation and i have no idea who's building it it might be somebody's house huh. so on that mystery guys I'm going to log out here while I've got this beautiful, beautiful view behind me. There you are. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? The three towers. There we are. Bye-bye, guys.